What is going on guys? Before I start, let me say a few things. First off, I think Sototo's mother is one of the best mothers or best parents in anime, period. Like she is so caring and just so damn smart. Like how she wrote that note to Kayo without Sototo even finding out. And the fact that we know that she eventually does figure out who the killer is just makes her all the more awesome. She, she's just a great parent. And second, one thing I would like to point out the teacher's jacket that he wore to go see Kayo with the people that he brought or whatever is the same color as the jacket that the, the supposed killer wore, the guy that dropped the bag there. And we know that that uh, bus is also the killer's hideout, I guess. So I think that kind of makes him more of a suspect, even though I'm pretty sure that even if he's not the killer, he has something to do with it or knows who the killer is. And... Another thing that kind of makes me believe this even more is the fact that Sotaru's mother calls him and says, Hey, Kayo is with us. And this is only episode 8. This series is going to have 12 episodes, I believe. So it's too early for everything to just be good right now. It's not going to be smooth sailing from episode 8 to episode 12 because that really wouldn't give us much to watch. And the only person that knows where uh, Kayo is you know, now is the uh, Sototu's friend, you know, Kenya and everyone else, and the teacher. So it has to be, like, the killer has to branch off from either Kenya or the teacher, in my opinion. And I think it's easier to go ahead and say that the teacher has more going on with, you know, he has more of a chance to be the killer than Kenya does, in my opinion. Unless the thing I said on my last review, if Kenya can also... Uh, revival. Who knows, man? I'm just so fucking confused. And we keep getting these ominous, almost villainous shots of the, the teacher guy. Like when he was talking to Sototu, and he was like, are you sure you haven't heard anything? You're mighty calm. And when Sototu walked away, like his head was looking down, you couldn't see his eyes. And these mysterious calls that he's making. I don't think this is just coincidence. Maybe it's trying to get us on the wrong track. But I think it's kind of obvious that he's either the killer or it wants us to think that he is. So, <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen next. I want to know who the hell he called. Who the fuck did he call? But, uh, I think this is the first episode in a while where the ending... I mean, it, it is a cliffhanger, don't get me wrong. But it's not like a life-threatening, like, oh my god, is Kayo about to die? Is someone about to die at the beginning of the next episode? And this, the last cliff, cliffhanger was kind of a troll because I thought that... The guy was going to come in, see Kayo, and then maybe Sototu was going to have to come in and rescue her somehow or something. But he didn't even go back there and see her. So it was just there to scare us. That cliffhanger was there to scare us. But I really want to know what Sototu, his mother, and Kayo are going to say to Kayo's mom. Because she is batshit crazy, man. I mean, flinging when the police show up and just seeing her you know, tear shit up. And even after her daughter is missing for a few days, her first instinct is to slap the fuck out of her. That's that's a, a horrible parent. Mikhail's mom needs to be locked up. And this is further proven when Kyle sees the food that Sototu's mother made and starts crying. And then she has a flashback of cup noodles and stuff. I mean, I understand if you're broke and you can't afford anything else. But this how Sototu's mom was about to put her hand on Kyle's head. And then she tensed up kind of tells us that Kayo has never felt love from any adult before, you know, like, like she really had, didn't have a really good relationship with her mom, she didn't have any parents, I guess you could say, I mean, of course her mother is her parent, but she didn't have that parent-child relationship that we know that a child needs, and it was just further illustrated in this episode, like how she just got so emotional, how she's content with just staying on, the bu on a bus and I think uh, Kenya was the one that said, you know, if we go through with this, you'll never see your mom again. And she was like, you know what? Fuck that bitch. It's just so sad because stuff like this goes on in the real world. And this episode was full of feels. There were some funny moments like when Kayo and Sotodu were laying in the in their uh, little futons or whatever. And then the mom just showed up in the middle. I, I was not expecting her to be right there. But of course, that's what a mother would do. And... This episode, I think this is the calm between the storm because something bad is about to happen. Something really, really bad. So we know that the killer is still around them. You know, they're using his hideout. Well, they were using his hideout on the bus. 
And uh, I really want to see Sototo's mother piece things together a little bit faster because we know she ultimately does piece things together eventually. But the fact that she's meeting with the teacher guy uh, the next day and that he made this mysterious call right after he got off the phone with her just makes me believe that there's something going on with the teacher and maybe Kyle's mom or I don't know. But there's more than one perpetrator here. It's not just one killer. I don't think so. It seems like there's a lot going on here. It's going to be a very complicated plot by the end and I really just can't wait. This episode was great. The feels. I love how Sototo slipped up and said, yeah, I remember it reminds me of that trip we took when such and such and, and you know, he brought that up before it actually even happened. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, man, but this was a beautiful episode. I love seeing <clears throat> Kyle get the love. Hold on. <clears throat> My throat almost exploded. But I love seeing Kayo get the love that she always wanted. And just the bad scene with Kayo and Sotaro's mother was amazing. You, know, you can tell that she this is really all she wanted. This is what any child wants. And, you know, regardless what happens in the end, like if she actually does die, if she's saved, at least she had that love, even if it was for a brief moment. I really would like to see her stay with Sotodu and Sotodu's mom, but that's kind of pushing it. I don't know what kind of uh, government or foster things they have over there, but that would be awesome, like a uh, Eren and Mikasa kind of thing. I really think they would be a good match growing up together. Like when we jump back from the final revival, I would love to see uh, Sotodu wake up, go in the kitchen and seeing uh, an adult Kayo helping Sotadu's mother. That would be fucking amazing. That would be a beautiful ending. I cannot wait to see what happens. But tell me what you guys think. This has been JB Dutch Shiha. Who is this killer man? I just cannot get over the the killer's coat and the teacher's coat are the same color. But I couldn't really tell on the designs. I'll have to go back and look at it. But I mean, brown is a common color for, you know, jackets or whatnot. But I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like it's a coincidence. But tell me what you guys think. Anyway, this has been JB Dutch. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.